Matt Barthel here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I want to talk about a couple things on fire today. Before we get started, I want to introduce someone to you. We've got a lovely camera assistant today, my wife Gloria. Gloria, say hi. That's my wife. Hi. So she's going to help. You're going to see her in some videos uh, down the road. We've got some um, campfire cooking videos we're going to do, and Gloria's going to be our little star for that. Uh, we've got some really cool ones planned for you guys. Hopefully we'll get that taken care of you guys really soon. Um, but today, uh, in some of my fire videos, I talk to you guys about um, starting fires uh, with different methods. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do fire using a soda can or pop can, depending on where you're from, and toothpaste. So what we're going to do is we're going to polish up the bottom of this soda can. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's pretty dull. Um, we're going to polish it up with some toothpaste and some elbow grease and we're going to make this like a mirror finish. We're going to use that to take the sun's rays and focus it down into a, a ball of, uh, we'll do some twine, jute twine, and we'll get that going out here. So let me get a couple things together. We'll be right back with you. We'll see you in a few. All right, we're back here. All right, we've got the can here. It's not polished. Got the toothpaste. We're going to put some toothpaste in the bottom here. We're going to grab a rag or some paper towels, but we're going to start working this into it. Um, what it is, the toothpaste is, is, is abrasive, and it's going to take and fill in all the little crevices, and basically we're sanding this thing. This is probably going to take me 20 minutes or so. So we won't film the whole part of this, but um, you'll see that i got the toothpaste on there. It is polishing. I'm already getting some um, gray, gray color on here from, uh, from rubbing the, the aluminum. Um, so I'll polish this. Uh, we'll get back to this when I got a mirror finished. So we'll be right back in a few. Char cloth. Beer can. Soda can. Mirror finish. Bird's nest. It's funny is I've done this like three or four times off camera. And every time I turn the dang camera on, I have trouble. Where does Char Cloth is camera shy? Quick, everybody, close your eyes. There we go. Fire. Hot fire. <laughs> we did it. Yes. We did it. <laughs> My soda cans roll away. Alright. 
Sorry about the bumpy ride here for a moment here. What do we just do? Hold on, let's grab the can. All right, what we just did is we took uh, the sun's rays and used the bottom of this soda can, which we polished up using toothpaste. Uh, it probably took me two hours of real hard polishing to make that work. Took some char cloth, which you guys saw my char cloth video. Focus the sun rays on that char cloth, which uh, uh, char cloth is really easy to ignite. Took the took and concentrated the sun's rays. I mean, I'm doing it right now on my finger, and that's hot. Um, got that char cloth up and running. Um, got a good ember on there. Put in the bird's nest. Gave it bro breath, <laughs> breathe, <laughs> breathe some life. I'm really excited that I did. This. I've been trying to do this on camera for like three weeks, and Mother Nature has not cooperated. And then past three times I succeeded, I was just screwing around with no camera. Always have a camera. Um, so we, we, we uh, fed oxygen to the, those embers with the, in the bird's nest. Boom, we got fire. So, so you can use the bottom of a soda can to create fire. Um, it's a lot of work. Uh, chocolate, uh, maybe I'll try using chocolate. I've seen videos of people use like a Toblerone and going on it for a while. That seems to be a little bit better, but uh, toothpaste can't be gel. Uh, just the regular, you know, toothpaste, not the gel type. Uh, that will work. You know, you can use toothpaste for all kinds of things. Uh, bug bites, itch relief. That's a big thing that you can use toothpaste for. Do I recommend this as a primary means to start a fire? Absolutely not. <laughs> that was a lot of work, but it's an option. It's one of those things. Go out, try it, um, just to see if you can do it. We did, and we can do it, which means we can do it again. Um, I don't want to have to try and polish the bottom of the can again for two hours, but if that's all I've got available to me, then that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's taken me a long time to put this whole video together, so hopefully in editing, uh, it won't look that bad. You'll have seen me in a lot of different outfits. Um, even in the beginning, my wife was here, but um, and she's at work right now. But. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this is what you guys uh, were waiting for and were excited, as, as excited about it as I am. And uh, if, you, if there's anything you guys want to see, leave me a comment, send me an email, whatever you want, and I'll put something together for you guys. Thanks and have a good day.